This is Salita, one of Manchester's most popular restaurant groups. There's four of them across the northwest and two Mexicans about to open. Famous for their sometimes elaborate burgers like the Big Mank, which is their take on another famous burger. They've had a name check in the Good Food Guide, had the nod from AA Gill, and they've recently been voted the best burger in the UK by the Daily Mirror. However, we're not here to talk about the accolades, we're not here to talk about any of the good things. We're here to talk about the bad things. Joining me is Franco, he's the co-owner of Salita. How are you, mate? Pleased to meet you, very good, thanks. Um, you may be pleased to meet me now, but by the end of this, <laughs> we'll see. Be. Um, <laughs> so I know what's coming up here, and I will just yeah. say this one sentence, don't shoot the messenger. Okay. I'm gonna crack straight on. All right, go on. This first one is by Josh BZ. Uh, he titles this, Inconsiderate, Short-Sighted, and arrogant. Okay. As long as you're not talking about me, that's fine. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Let's see it in general for okay. the whole business. <laughs> um, so let me just set the scene first. Josh and his partner were having a rare night out. They've just had a baby. They'd finally got a babysitter, so they wanted a night out. First time right. ever. A bit anxious okay. about it. Um, Am I going to need a handkerchief? You might do by the end okay. of this. So first of all, they were a bit upset that they couldn't book because it was only two of them. Right. Then when they arrived, there wasn't a table. Uh, and they didn't have long to wait because they had to get back for the babysitter. So th this is making them all anxious. Right. So because of this, uh, their main gripe seems to be lack of empathy and understanding from the staff. They say this, I would give this place a miss on principle. I would rather eat my son's used nappy than give those arrogant idiots another chance to pry their heads out from their own backsides. Right. Well, we don't do nappies. <laughs> Stuart B. Okay. His title is not quite so catchy. He simply says, "Not so great at all." Uh, just one sentence. This is a description of your food. The burgers, Franco, were just large, bland, tasteless, poorly seasoned chunks of I don't know what. Right. The not. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you need to say. The not. But everyone has bad days. But we do say, if you don't like it, tell us straight away. We'll fix it, we'll give you free drinks, we'll come to your meal, we'll give you a voucher for the next time. If you wait till you get on TripAdvisor a week later, we won't do anything, we don't respond. So you won't respond to any? Never ever, we don't even look at TripAdvisor. This is Gem 989. Gem's title, terrible, don't go. So she goes on to say, uh, this is one of the worst dining experiences I have ever had. Please don't go there if you are interested in eating A, what you've actually ordered, B, things that are cooked, and C, within three hours of ordering. Terrible, such a shame. Right. I always find if a customer is pissed off, they'll add an hour and a half onto any time we've waited. Always, it's guaranteed. What they'll say that yeah, it's yeah, an yeah, hour and a half. Yeah, 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 it's We've had complaints past. Um, I ordered at 9 o'clock, my food didn't come to 12. It's simple for us, we look at the CCTV, we see what time they ordered, and it's invariably either a third to half of the time they've, they've lied about. So, yeah. If the, like I said, if the food's not right, we'll fix it. Let us know on the, on the time and we'll fix it. We serve nearly 9,000 people a week. You could, we're bound to get a few blips. We don't want any blips, we want the feedback, but we want it in the restaurant. We're moving on slightly from the food now. Okay. Um, in fact, Austin F yeah. has titled this, Nice Food But, Dot, dot, dot. Okay. Do you want me to guess the dots? Austin says, and this is just a bit, like I don't usually get involved, but this is a little bit snide, I think. He says, waiting staff look as plain as the burger tasted. Some alternative looking staff would be nice. To be honest with you, I, still, I never read TripAdvisor reviews. This one's been pointed out to me. Do you Some, know this one? Somebody screenshotted it and put it on Twitter, and we think it's ridiculous. Our staff are our staff. We don't have a uniform. We ask them to wear black. Um, what's an alternative looking staff? I don't know. I, I think he wants Not purple hair, nose rings, I don't know. Um, I don't. The, well the thing is, we don't allow piercings in our restaurants. We don't, girls have to have their hair tied back for hygiene issues. Yep. And if, if you don't like that, that's what we do. Um, if he wants people with nose rings, there's other burger joints to go to in Manchester city centre that they can do. But we won't name them. No. Nope. <laughs> um, okay, now this is from someone calling themselves Honestly 12. Uh, and this is an international one. This is from someone in Perth, Australia, okay. who'd been over here on holiday, had heard about Salita, right. and were, as they say in their title, ripped off. Right. 
What gives Salita the right to charge so much for a burger when the bread is clearly toasted in a toaster and left in too long? Where else would you toast it? Well, yeah, no, I don't. Okay, go on. Uh, <laughs> straight in. Sorry, go on. <laughs> the onion ring's soggy, and the only flavour was from the excessive dosing of sauce and cheese. I personally feel that Salita owes me £42 for the assault to my palate. You'd be better off going to Burger King or KFC. It's Australian. <laughs> Do they have a palate? Ooh. <laughs> sauce. Um, they can have as much or little sauce as they want on there. Excessive dosing. Yeah, the sauce, yeah. They can have as much as they want on. Uh, what else did they say? Burger Kings were... Not uh, Burger, you better off going to Burger King. You owe them 42 quid. They're basically saying it was way too expensive. The th things, we... we our beef patty is seven ounces of steak, so seven ounces, I think it costs us about £1.30 just for the patty. Um, the bread costs us 60 pence, which incidentally is toasted in the toaster. It is an industrial toaster, it's not like a breville one that you put down there. 20% um, goes to VAT, we've got high rents. I don't think it's excessive, a meal for two for 40 quid is not excessive. I don't think No, anyway. I wouldn't say so. Yeah, so. Uh, soggy onion rings? Possibly, but if you let us know, we could have sorted it. I really don't understand why their problem is with having bread toasted in a toaster. Yeah, McDonald's toast there, toaster buns. We give, we give all our bread a light toasting. A light toasting? A light toasting. Just a light Well, toasting. that's what the chefs are supposed to. I'm not saying it's always perfect. Uh, left in for too long, says uh, Honestly 12. Right, it could have been. I'll hold my hands up. But if it let, let us know, it would have been sorted. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah. So that's what Australia know about okay. Salita. Yeah, they know about grilling and barbecues but obviously they don't toast the bread on their barbecue. <laughs> so. You're gonna send a 42 quid? <laughs> if he wants his 42 quid back, I'll send it back personally. Would you? Yeah, I would. You're gonna get a lot of people <laughs> coming in here. No, now, to him, you? no one else. <laughs> Cheers, ma'am. Cheers. Thank you very much. <laughs>